Hi, my name is Hayden Good, and today I'm going to attempt to prepare you for the fantastic person that is Sheridan Austin. Now, Sheridan is not your average MUS cheerleader, Mr. Stone enthusiast, or PJ wearing SMS student. No, she is much more than these surface level labels. Sheridan is friendly, kind, easily one of the funniest people I know, and a loyal friend. Sheridan always greets anyone she encounters with something a little more than just a wave or a hello. For example, sophomore year, I loved to wear my white Nike Air Max, and every day that I did, Sheridan would greet me with a, hey Hayden, can I have those shoes? And I would reply with a, I'm sorry, what? And then Sheridan would proceed to wear my shoes until I desperately needed them back. Sheridan's pure honesty never fails to amaze me, and it has become one of my favorite qualities that makes up the absolutely beautiful person she is. It has been a pleasure living only two minutes away from you, and I can confidently say me and Reagan would feel that the neighborhood squad was not complete if you were not there. I've never met anyone who doesn't love her, and I know that whatever she has to say will, will make me and surely everyone else love her that much more. So, without further delay, I present to you Sheridan Charles Austin. Similar to many of my friends, I dreamed that on my 16th birthday, my mom would have a phone in my face, videoing my reaction to walking outside and seeing a brand new car with a bow on it. Even though I could not get my driver's license for three more months, I still imagined that my parents would buy me a brand new white Maserati with tan interior, a backup camera, and seat warmers for the biggest birthday of my life. To my dismay, no Maserati was waiting for me. I would be driving my mom's navy blue Kia Soul around town. <laughs> now, nothing against Kia Souls in particular, but they are not exactly my dream car. Nevertheless, I have found my ways to be grateful for this box-shaped car. For example, it is better than my mom dropping me off and picking me up from school or practice, giving her any more chances to embarrass me. Sorry, Mom. I realize that simply having a car is something to appreciate. I have grown to be thankful that I have this car at my disposal, and I am very thankful that my mom did not buy the alien green Kia Soul that she originally wanted. <laughs> Another aspect that I used to be really embarrassed about was the birthmark on the right side of my eye. I hated this feature about myself because I thought that it looked like someone punched me in the face, leaving a bruise. I usually forget that it's there, except when I first meet new people and I'm often asked, what happened to your eye? How'd you hurt yourself? While the, person while the person patiently waits for an exciting story of how I possibly got into a bar fight, I let them down by telling them nothing happened. It's just a birthmark. I was born with a hemangioma, which is when the blood vessels are close to the surface of your skin. And when I was born, the doctors tried to correct it with laser surgery, leaving the huge mark next to my eye. But one day, someone told me that the scar looked like a cross. And immediately after that, I began to like my cross-shaped feature. I now know that this is my perfect imperfection. The last thing about myself that I used to be really embarrassed for people to know was my middle name. It's Charles. I was always so insecure about having a boy's middle name, and I thought people would judge me for being named after a boy. But I learned that I was named after my grandfather who passed away a couple months before I was born. And that I'm actually the fourth person in my family to have the name Charles Austin. My great grandfather, my grandfather, then my uncle all have the name Charles Austin. So I started telling people that I was actually Sheridan Charles Austin the fourth. <laughs> Even though I'm not actually the fourth Sheridan Charles Austin, just the fourth Charles Austin. I really started to grow fond of my middle name when I was in elementary school at Christ Methodist and I was running to be a classroom representative for the Student Council Association, which most people just called it by the acronym SEA, which is fortunately the initials of my name. I used this to my advantage and in my campaign speech, I said that the reason my classmates should vote for me was because it was in my blood, since my initials were SEA for Sheridan Charles Austin. Needless to say, I won with this tactic. <laughs> the list can go on, of course, but these are prime examples of things about myself that I have been embarrassed about, but have found a way to love each and every part. 
I've grown accustomed to the things that I cannot change, so instead of making them one of my insecurities, I have found reasons to count these examples as a blessing, because without them, I would not be the same. I'm so lucky to have a car to drive to school, my own unique birthmark, and carry on the legacy of Char Charles Austin. We often do not realize the things before us that are blessings and take them for granted. So I urge each of you to find the things that you might overlook as something to be embarrassed about and find a reason to love it because we are all blessed with something unique and different about ourselves. Thank you.